Hey y'all, it's Kinsey here. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. I am so excited for today's video because I have the new Jaclyn Cosmetics Hot Tropics Collection. This is her new summer collection, and I bought, I think, one of everything. I'm pretty sure I have one of everything. I have one bronzer, one of the putty highlights, I have one of the liquid highlights, and then I do have two of the lip oils. I'm pretty sure that's one of everything, so if you want to see my thoughts on all of these new items that I got, then just keep watching. So, I have my air on in my room, so if you guys hear like a little bit of a buzzing noise, like a zzz or something like that, then that's what that is, but... It's too hot to turn it off so I am sorry about that you'll probably hear that all video and I'm super sorry but yeah it's way too hot it's like 90 degrees so sorry about that <laughs> but I think since this video is more just about the Jack and cosmetic stuff I think I'm just gonna go off camera and do my eyes and like my foundation and concealer and then I'll be back to try out all this stuff and finish up my makeup with you guys so I'm just gonna go ahead and go off camera and do all that stuff and when I get back I will kind of let you know what products I use just in case you're interested which I don't know if any of you will be but just in case you are interested I will let you know when I get back so I will be right back with makeup on my face so okay guys I'm back with my eyeshadow done and my foundation and concealer on um I didn't go too, too heavy on the eyes because I wasn't feeling it, but I did try to kind of go with the theme of the packaging. Here's like the packaging on the collection. It's like gold, like an orangish gold with like a green. It's very pretty, so I kind of just did that on the eyes. I have like, I did a halo eye with like a green and orangish gold, I guess. So... That's basically all I did on the eyes. Um, so for my eyebrows, I just used the Huda Beauty, what is this called? The Huda Beauty Micro Shade Brow Pencil. I really like this. This is currently my favorite eye brow pencil. It took the place of my benefit because it's so, such a fine, like, tiny, tiny, tiny tip. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it. But it does run out very quickly, which is a downfall, but... And then I also use my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. And then for eyeshadow, I used my two Jaclyn Hill palettes because it's a Jaclyn Hill video. So I just, I had to use them <laughs> on the eyes today just because, um, what else? For foundation, I used my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. And for concealer, I used the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer. And I think that's all I've done. Oh, for primer, I used my Milk Hydro Grip. And that's all I've done so far because her products are all like cream liquid. So I didn't want to set my face yet. So we're going to go ahead and get into those. I'm so excited. Okay. So we're going to do bronzer first. Here is the packaging for the bronzer. Focus. It's very cute. I just got the shade. There's a bug in here. So if you hear that, sorry about that. I just got the shade Beachy. Here's what the packaging looks like on the actual product just white with like a gold leaf it's very cute if I'm looking down looking into my mirror as always um, I have swatched all of these things because I couldn't wait so yeah I am going to take my Lunar Beauty sponge for this I'm just gonna make sure it doesn't have like any product on it there's a bug Make sure there's no product on it, and I'm just going to take it. I'm just going to dip right in here like this. And it picked up a decent amount of product. So 
hopefully it's not too much. I'm just going to start putting that right there. Looks like a decent color. It's not too pigmented. It looks a lot more pigmented in part or on camera than in person. I'm just going to stamp it on at first. I did take my earrings out while I was doing my makeup because they were getting in the way. But yeah, I'm just going to stamp all the product on first and then I'm going to start blending it out. Just with the sponge. I like to go around the face like that as well. You want to always like, you want to blend your bronzer up. You don't want to blend it down because it's going to drag your face down. You want to blend it up to kind of keep that like lifted look. I think that's very pretty. It is kind of, it's a lot more sheer than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Um, but she did say that in her video, I'm pretty sure. She said she made it more of like a buildable formula. I should have tried this side with a brush to see how it would apply, but I prefer cream products with a sponge or my fingers. I don't usually go for a brush just because I don't like how brushes apply cream usually. I am having to dunk in quite a lot though, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. Maybe I should have gone a shade darker. Um, possibly, I was thinking about getting, um, Toasty as well, but then, like, Toasty looked a little too dark, but now that I'm, like, seeing it on my face, I'm thinking I should have went maybe one more shade darker, but I guess building it up will work. I think that looks really pretty. do the forehead now it blends very easily though I have to say very easily like I'm barely even putting any work into it and it's blending I do wish it was a little bit more pigmented though, but I really do like it. The color is beautiful. It's not too orange. It's not too cool toned. It's a very pretty color. I do have to say though, I wish the shade range would have went a little bit deeper. And I know she said that when they come out permanently in her line that they would have deeper shades. But I still think that if she was going to launch a cream product in her summer line for like just in her summer line or whatever she should have started with a little a few deeper shades as well that's just my opinion um but the product is working well I just wish it was a little bit more pigmented because I'm having to pile on a lot. I think I should have gotten one shade deeper. Because I like a lot of bronzer. I tend to like to go lighter with my foundation so I can use bronzer to deepen up my skin just because I like how that looks. I like how I can like add more dimension. Um, so yeah. I'm going to add a little bit to the nose. Just a little on the sides, not a lot. All right, I'm gonna actually take a little bit more concealer and just like go underneath the bronzer and flip the sponge over. This is the side I use, I'm gonna flip it over to the flat side and just blend that in just to clean that up a little bit to see if that helps. 
because I'm not a fan of baking. Oh yeah, that helps a lot. I'm not a fan of baking, so I would prefer to just kind of bake, quote unquote bake, with um, concealer instead of um, powder, so yeah. That worked well. I'm going to do that to the other side as well. And for this, I'm not using the Jouer, I'm using um, Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy because it's more creamy. The Jouer is a lot more drying, and for this, I wanted a more creamy concealer. That way, it's easier to blend out, so. Yeah, I think that helps a lot. I'm going to actually add a little bit to the center of the forehead as well, just to re-enhance that highlight I had there. Pretty. I think I'm going to add... <laughs> I'm going crazy with the bronzer, but I feel like it's just not... I don't know. It's just not showing up for me, I feel. It's showing up, but like... You see what I mean? Like, this side is showing up, but I feel like this side is lacking a little bit. But maybe it's just the lighting. Hmm. Maybe I'll add a little bit more to that side. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, now it looks better. I'm gonna get up close to my mirror and I'm going to look closely and see how the bronzer is meshing with my other face products because it's hard to tell because i'm pretty far away from my mirror okay i feel like it's good but i don't know i thought it would be a little bit better it's it's good don't get me wrong but i wish it had a little bit more pigment to it because i don't like to have to build up my bronzer that much um because I had to build it up a lot, like a lot, a lot. Maybe I should have just gotten a darker shade. That probably would have helped a lot. Um, I think that was the big problem. I should have just got, um, probably got the shade Toasty. Um, and that would have helped a lot with that. Um, it's a little dry for my liking. I wish it would be a little bit more creamy and a little bit more dewy. Just because, um... I, my skin leans a little dry, but other than that, it makes really well with my foundation and concealer, so no complaints there. The color is beautiful. It's not too warm, not too cool, so love that. <laughs> but let's go ahead and move on to the highlights. Actually, first, I'm going to do some cream blush, and I don't have any of um, Jaclyn's cream blushes, so I'm just going to use my Patrick Ta. Um cream and powder blush in the shade do we know her i'm gonna use this is the cream blush up here so i'm just gonna and for that i just like to dip my finger in like i said and just tap and i just like to use my finger because i feel like it just meshes in really well and let's see how this meshes with the bronzer Okay, those two worked pretty well together. No problem there. Let's go ahead and do the other side. I used to hate cream products. Like, I used to only use powder because my face, I feel like my face used to be a lot more oily than it is now. My skin is a lot more dry now than it used to be. And I used to absolutely hate cream products because I didn't know how to work them and I they always like slipped off and I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't get any of it to stay on and now that I've gotten a lot better at makeup sorry drink break now that I've gotten a lot more men a lot better at makeup I love cream products so I'm very excited about that because cream products are very in now and I just love doing makeup so yeah <laughs> But we're going to try both highlighters, um, probably one on each side. Maybe I'll mix them. I don't know. Um, I did get the, the medium shade in the liquid because the light shade, I don't remember. 
it might lightning or something like that <laughs> the the light shade obviously it is was more of like that silver type of shade and I'm not into the like icy silvery highlights if I want a highlight even if I'm like my palest I want it to be like a light gold I don't like the silver tones at all so I was like mm, I don't like the light and I was like it's summer I get pretty tan let's get the medium shade so I got the medium shade <laughs> and high gleams is the name of it but when I swatch this I think it might be too dark for me so I'm sad about that if it is too dark if it is, I will probably just use a tiny bit of it and then I will, I don't know, pray for the best, I guess. I'll probably just use it when I get more tan or I'll just give it to someone else or I will, I'll probably just keep it and keep using it and then put a lighter highlight on top, honestly. <laughs> but here's what the packaging of this looks like. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, honestly. But it's beautiful packaging. I love the white top and like the frosted glass with like the Jaclyn logo. Very beautiful packaging. Um, so I'm happy about that. But let's go ahead and just do like a swatch on my hand first. It does have like a little dropper. So you only need like a tiny bit. I'm not even going to do a full drop. I'm just going to like tap it. And then I'm just going to like like that it's beautiful shade like look at that like oh my gosh it's so pretty like see that how beautiful that is it's like see it's pretty dark but like I feel like I could possibly get away with it mm, I don't know I hope I'm gonna try it on one cheek and if it's too dark I'll just put the putty highlighter on top hopefully counteract it so I'm so excited to try it so I think what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna take the dropper and I'm just gonna like literally just two two little dots tap and I'm just gonna take my finger and like tap it out like that <sighs> Ooh, even that was too much oh my gosh And you saw how little I put, like. I really like the formula so, so far. It's not too sticky. It's not too oily. Very pretty. Um, I don't think it's too, it might be like a hair too dark, like a hair. But I don't think it's like, it's not too, too, too bad. I could get away with it, I think. Ooh, so pretty though, look at that. Just looks like wet on your cheek. Doesn't look like glitter, it doesn't look like, mm, doesn't look glittery. It just looks like your cheek is like wet. Like, look at that. I think I accidentally brought it down too far because I got like a little too excited. But, yeah, I think I'm going to add a little bit more. Oh, yeah, definitely a little too dark. You can definitely see it. But I'm going to add a little bit more just because I want to see if it will build. And then I will probably, I'm going to put a lighter highlight on top after I set my makeup just so it doesn't look too crazy because it is too dark for me. Sadly, I'm so sad. Maybe I'll have to, I don't know what I'll have to do, but. It did disturb my foundation, my concealer actually. It did disturb my concealer and foundation a little bit, not too bad, but I do see like in this area right here, I see a little bit of lifting of my foundation and concealer from that highlight it was not there when I put the blush on but I do see a little bit of lifting from that highlight that makes me very very sad 
very sad honestly but it's okay I guess so yeah I'm not sure how I feel about that highlight it's very pretty but for one it's a little too dark for me for two it kind of disturbed my foundation but maybe it's because my foundation and concealer were both on more on the matte side so maybe this will work better on more of like a dewy finish concealer and foundation I don't know I haven't tried it on either of those so I'm not sure but yeah so I would have went with a, the lighter color if I would have known and I probably would have tried it with a different foundation that's just me though all right so next we are going to try the putty highlighter here's what the packaging for that one looks like if it'll focus here we go and here is what the product looks like on the inside it's I got the shade Sun Lover so it's like the yellow gold one I have swatched this one obviously I was like in awe about the texture because it's like so crazy of a texture it feels kind of like a powder and then it feels like a cream it definitely feels like a putty. Like, I have no other thing to describe it. Like, let's go ahead and swatch it. Here's it swatched on my hand. The gold. It's very, very pretty. I'm very excited to try this one. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to use a brush for this one. So, I'm just going to take my normal highlight brush. This doesn't have any product on it because I just washed it. This is the uh, Bling Brushes and Page Corn collab. This is the F25. It's just like a highlight, small highlight brush. Um, this is my favorite brush for highlight ever. Um, so I'm just going to like take, let's go like that. Just a little bit and see how much that does. So I don't know if I should just act like it's a regular highlighter or like I've never felt this type of texture before. Okay, so that obviously wasn't enough. So let's just, I just like went like this in the pan a few times. So let's try that. My hair is so annoying. Okay, that worked a little bit better. It's hard to pick up on a brush, I would say. Probably because of the putty texture of it. Oh, okay, there we go. Now it's starting to pick. Oh, now I have too much. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, that one is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Okay, now I have um too much and my cheek looks so crazy. <laughs> but that is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I need to let's blend that out a little bit. Alright, let's see if that one picked up my foundation and concealer. Okay. So that one also picked up my foundation and concealer a little bit. So what I'm thinking is that my foundation and concealer I think is just too matte for these products because these products are also pretty matte so I think it's all of this like matteness dryness it, not working together because I'm going to admit, I did use this putty highlighter the other day um, when I used my Urban Decay uh, Hydro, found, whatever it's called, the blue hydro foundation thing, the tinted moisturizer type thing. And it's like very, very dewy and I used this on top of it and it was absolutely beautiful and it didn't lift my foundation or concealer that day. So I'm just thinking that possibly I should have used this with a more dewy product. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy Concealer and add a little bit under the eyes again 
And I'm going to see, I'm going to try and add a little bit more of the highlight and see if that possibly changes anything. I don't know if it will or not, but I just want to see. I really want this stuff to work. It's making me sad that it's not working. I don't know. Because it worked the other, like the putty highlighter worked the other day. I don't know. Okay, so now I'm having another issue. Now that I'm trying to layer concealer on top, it's making it even worse. I haven't set with powder, I haven't used any type of powder on my face, so I should just be able to layer concealer on top of concealer and it should work just fine because I do that all the time and it works just fine. But since I have these, this highlighter on, specifically the putty one, it's not wanting to do that. Now, I don't know what's going on because this worked beautifully the other day, so I'm going to try to fix this and I will be right back with you guys. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I went ahead and I set my face with powder and I did powder bronzer along with powder blush and I finished my eye so I just did my lower eyeshadow and mascara and I put on some lashes. I am wearing the Lunar Beauty Lashes in style Luna and for my powder I used, where is it, my Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. For bronzer I used Morphe Glamour Bronze in the shade Originator. And for blush, I just used the powder in the Patrick Ta. And yeah, that's pretty much all I've done so far. So now what I want to do is I'm going to try the putty highlight on top of my powder. So I'm hoping that this works a little bit better. So I'm just going to swirl my brush again. And this time, instead of swiping it, I'm just going to kind of tap it on. So, let's go like this. I'm going to swipe it a little bit. I'm mostly just going to tap it on, like so. But yeah, that's working a little bit better. Okay, yeah. So, that worked. Let's look up close. Okay, that worked a lot, lot better. So I think with the putty highlight, you can use it on top of your um, powder. I didn't think that you should use it on top of powder because it is kind of like a cream. I thought you should use it more on top of like a liquid, but it's looking like you should use it on top of your powder. So that's kind of nice actually. Um, and it doesn't feel sticky when it goes on either, so I think that's very, very pretty, so I'm actually excited about that. Let's see how it looks on this side. This is the side that was kind of giving me the trouble. Yeah, it's like in this one spot right here, it's just kind of sticking to a dry patch and like taking off my foundation. I think it's just like I just might have like a really bad dry patch right there that I just can't see or something. I don't know. But the product itself is beautiful. So I really like that. So let's put it on the rest of my face where I highlight. Chin, Cupid's bow. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's very bright. Alright, so now that we are done with the face, um, I think I'm going to add a little bit more blush because I feel very, like I need some more color for some reason. And I put so much blush on. I don't know. 
My makeup's just not going well today for some reason. Okay, so the last step is going to be lips. Now, she did come out with some lip oils. I only got two of the, I think there was like four shades. Uh, I'm just going to take this foundation off of my lips. Okay, so I got the majority of the stuff off my lips. My lips are just very naturally pigmented and pink, so yeah i got the two shades i got the clear one which is called crystal drip and then the more pinky one which is called rose drip here's what the two shades look like well this one obviously isn't white but um we're gonna go ahead and open these up i'm just gonna try them first on a just like my bare lips and then i'm going to try them over like a liquid lipstick just to see, you know, if they change the color of the liquid lipstick, or obviously the clear one won't, so we're not really going to try that one over a liquid lipstick, but, you know, here is what the two look like in the packaging. Little focus, they're very beautiful. Gold lids with the Jaclyn logo in gold as well. We're going to go ahead and do, try the pinky one first called Rose Drip. Um, they are very big, if it'll focus, very big like doe foot applicator. Um, here's what my natural lip color looks like. It's very pink. So let's go ahead and add this on top and see if it changes the color at all. So far, I'm liking it. Very glossy. Not sticky at all. Very, very, very comfortable. Here's what rose drip looks like on the lips. I don't think it changes the color of my lips um, at all, honestly. Maybe a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more pink, but honestly, I don't think it did anything because my lips are already very pink. Um, um, there is a little bit of a stringy, but not much at all. They're very, very comfortable, actually. Like, yeah, very comfy. So I'm just going to take this off. I guess we'll try on Crystal Drip. I mean, it's clear, but... We might as well. Uh, let's go. Let's compare. Here's what the two lips look like. So the bottom one doesn't have any color, and the top one has the gloss on it. So do you guys see a color difference? I don't think I see a color difference. So <laughs> yeah, they're very very sheer. So it's just as glossy. Feels the exact same. Honestly, now that I have the crystal drip on, I think rose drip actually did have a little bit of a tint to it because now my lips do look maybe not as pink, but very comfortable. And I don't think they have a smell. I don't, they kind of just smell like makeup to me. I don't really smell any particular smell or anything like that. So... I'm going to go ahead and put a liquid lip on and I'm going to put a liquid lip on and then we're going to put the glosses on top and see how that looks. So I'm going to use the Jaclyn Cosmetics Liquid Lips and I'm going to use the shade Gratitude. Okay, here's what the shade Gratitude looks like on. It's kind of just like a, it's just straight like brownie nude, but it's like a little bit of a deeper shade. So I'm going to let it dry down first just so I don't get much, as much color on the, um, the wand. So I'm probably going to try, um, I'm going to try Rose Drip first 
just to see if it like changes the color at all just because it's that little bit of a pinky tint I don't think it will just because this is so dark but just to see and then I'm gonna take this off again put it on again and then I'm gonna put crystal drip on and I'll just leave that one on for you guys and do the outro so let's go ahead feels pretty dry so I'm gonna go ahead and put on rose drip and it does have like the applicator if you guys can see has like a little like it's rounded right here it has like a little dent so it can like hug your lip very well and before I stick this back in I am going to use a makeup wipe and kind of clean the wand off just to make sure I don't get any of that brown liquid lip into the the color because I don't want to mess up my color <laughs> but I don't think it changed the color at all let me look closely yeah I don't think it changed the color or anything like that it might have just added a tiny bit of a pink but yeah I don't think it changed the color at all I had lipstick already so yeah I think if you guys um got rosé drip if you put it over maybe like a lighter color it might change it a little bit but if you put it over like a darker color I don't think it will really change the color that much so I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off and I'm going to put my lip back on and put crystal drip on and then I will do the outro okay first I want to talk about the first product that I tried which was the um, cream bronzer so I like this product the reason why I'm so hesitant to say that is because I think that I possibly need a darker shade. Now, the reason why I'm saying that is because either this is like super, 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 super sheer or this shade is just so like close to my foundation shade that possibly it's just mixing with it instead of like the pigment showing up on my skin. Because anytime I was using this, it was like, it took me so long to build up the color instead of just like the pigment depositing onto my skin. I had to go over this like 10 times for the color to show up and it still wasn't as like bright as I wanted it to be. And I still had to go over with like a powder bronzer. So ideally, I would get a darker shade or I just wish this was more pigmented maybe um I think I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this and see if maybe it's just not that pigmented or if I just need a darker shade this is what the shade looks like so I'm thinking that I just need a darker shade this is the shade beachy and I'm thinking that I possibly might get the shade toasty I think they're probably sold out but I should have gotten the shade Toasty as well because when I swatch this and like blend it out on my skin, like you can barely see it. That's the shade right there on my skin. That's the shade. And like once you like completely blend it out, it basically just disappears into nothing. Like I just went like this and it kind of disappeared. It blended into my skin so I'm thinking it's either too light for my skin or it's just very 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 sheer so either way the products nice it blends very easily as you saw and it 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 worked well I just would prefer more pigment or a deeper shade the color is very pretty though for the shade um, I will continue to use it since I do have it but I think I would have just purchased a deeper shade next time. So that's what I think about that. <laughs> the next thing I will be talking about is the um, the liquid highlight. This is obviously too dark for me. I got the medium shade, which I thought was going to work because I was like looking at the swatches. I think um, Jacqueline's video, I was looking at the swatches and um, Paige Corrin, her video. Um, and I thought the medium shade was going to work for me, but I guess it was just, it didn't. It was a little too dark. It wasn't too, too dark because I have it on over here and you can't really, it's not that bad, but it did take off my foundation. 
underneath. I hadn't set it with powder or anything. It did take off my foundation. I think that was possibly because my foundation was, my foundation and concealer was too matte, maybe. It needs to be on like a dewier skin. I'm not sure. I have only tried this once, so this is just my first impressions. Um, so I'm not sure about that. The color is very beautiful, but I don't think it will work for me. I will continue to try it out and see if it will be any different with any other foundations. Here's what the shade looks like blended out. The next product is the Putty Highlighter. This was... I don't know. <laughs> The shade is absolutely beautiful, and the product is gorgeous. I just, it also took off my foundation whenever I put it on top without setting it with powder first. Because of the texture, it feels like a cream and a powder mixed together, like a putty, I guess. And I was like, oh, this will work without setting, like, without setting with powder first. It'll work on top of, like, creams and liquids. Because I used it the other day with my Urban Decay foundation and it worked beautifully on top of that. And that was like very dewy. So then I tried it on top of this foundation which is like more of like a matte finish. And it didn't work. It took off the foundation and the concealer and it just, it didn't work. So I'm not sure if it was the product or if the foundation and concealer just didn't blend well with each other and didn't blend well with the highlights or what but when I did set my foundation with powder and then I put this on top it was absolutely beautiful go ahead and swatch it again for you guys here's what it looks like okay so the last two products that I have to talk about are the two um lip oils so these are actually amazing these are actually probably my favorite products out of the whole line besides the putty highlight i really like the putty highlight i'll have to keep trying it to see how it performs any other time but yeah so the lip oils i didn't know if i'd like them because i'm not a gloss girl i prefer like a matte lip a liquid lip because i don't Gloss annoys me because my hair gets stuck in it and it just gets everywhere and I just, I don't like it. But these are actually really good because they don't, they're not sticky and they're very comfy to wear. So I actually really, really like these, surprisingly, because I'm not a gloss girl, like I just said. So these are definitely my favorite thing of the whole collection. Honestly, I'm kind of disappointed I thought I was gonna love everything but I don't know I'll just have to keep trying stuff and I guess just keep playing around with this stuff and see how it goes so if you guys have tried any of this stuff and had any of the same experiences or had better experiences let me know in the comments below and I hope you guys liked this video please 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 Comment, like, and subscribe. That would really mean a lot. Please share this video if you can. I'm trying to grow my channel and that would mean so much to me if you could show as much support as you could. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day, whatever you are doing. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.